Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first ever Space Engineers tutorial. I am not going to be going over how to play the game here, as there are plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. What I am going to be going over is the Easy LiDAR Homing Script. And the point of this script is you can make guided missiles, guided bombs, conventional bombs, uh, cluster bombs, um, missiles that shoot up in the space and hit a, I don't know, a moon base from the planet if you wish. And the reason I decided to do this is I do not see a lot of um, blueprints coming up on the workshop that utilize this script very, very remotely. And in my opinion, this script is extremely powerful. Just to give you an idea here, let me show you something you can do with this. This is a bomber that I built recently, which I will throw the uh, link in the description. And these big things here are cluster bombs. These will, using the script, they will disconnect, they will free fall for about eight seconds. Uh, parachute opens up, and they start to spin up the speed, and the merge block disconnect, releasing all the clusters. You got decoys. Uh, once again, they just free fall till, I think I said it at 1100 meters. The parachute opens up and you got parachute decoys. Uh, you got standard conventional bombs, which these don't use the script, but they're there. And then for personal defense, you got simple sidewinder missiles. And this uh, bomber, in my opinion, is pretty powerful because you got a, an array of options, like an internal. I got a bunch of conventional bombs. On the wings, you can have either four conventional bombs, uh, four decoys, or a maximum of two of the cluster bombs, or any combination above that you desire. And it just gives you an idea what they're capable of. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, right here, when I built, I built just your very simple, basic ship, which you can do whatever. But... Um, for a connection point, you need either a merge block, a connector, or a rotor, and you can just connect it to the rotor head. I like to use merge blocks because whenever you, if you were to use this in survival mode, um, whenever you open it up on a projector, the weapons will, you know, still be there. If you do not, uh, the connectors or the, uh, the rotors, that is a completely different grid, and you'll be kind of stuck welding everything up by hand or like building it by hand. Whereas if I put a projector on this, boom, there's a missile. Now what's required? All right, first things first, your launching ship requirements. It's very simple. You need your cockpit or remote control, which every ship needs that. You need a camera named R underscore LiDAR. And you can change that, but we're not gonna go into that in the end of this tutorial. We'll do that in a, in a future tutorial and an optional sound block named R underscore alert. And what happens is when you launch the missile, the sound block will play the sound, whatever you desire that you said of that, saying, hey, I'm locked on. And that way you know you can go from target A you're shooting at and transition to target B. Your missile requirements. You need a programmable block for your script, the gyroscope, your power, thrusters, and remote control everything you would expect to have on a remote controlled ship. The cameras and the cameras, and this is going to help guide the missile to its target. And your mounting point, which as I mentioned, I mentioned a, re a merge block and your warheads. Now this setup right here, this is going to be for launching modes zero and launching mode six. Launching mode zero is basically what you would consider your modern day uh, radar guided missiles that the, our fighter jets carry. Launching mode six is just your standard unguided rocket. That's all. And the rest of these modes, I'll go through, through these also at a uh, later date. So let's get started. Over here, I got a merge block. Now, as you see, these ones are pointing downwards. This one's pointing to the sides. I put this one to the side just to make it easier to build. Now, 
there's a merge block that will be for our missile. And then next we need power, right? So we'll put on, um, I could use a big battery, but actually, tell you what, let's, let's do it this way. Let's use the new small batteries. And that's probably overkill. It, I want to be able to get to the programmable block. So put a programmable block in. Put our gyroscope in. Uh, next we'll need our thrusters. So put uh, put our thrusters in. And now remember, this is going to be facing downwards. When you're, if you're in a gravity well, you're going to need a counter thrust. If you are the one that's in space with say, ions or hydrogen thrusters, the missile drifts perfectly in space. So you don't need a, your counter, counter thrust. From air, we need our warheads. So what do we want to do with warheads? So let's go a little bit, of, let's do a little bit of overkill. Uh, good enough. So there's our warheads. Now we need our cameras. Oops. I'll do one on each side. Okay, now, on your cameras, the cameras act as proximity fuses. Whenever it gets to a certain distance, which you can change it if you want, so distance three, so when it gets to three meter, meters, the cameras will um, detonate the warhead, like a proximity fuse. DMS is dead man switch range. What happens is, as this missile flies towards its target, it's say 50 meters, 20 meters, 10 meters, six meters, it doesn't get to the three meters range, and it opens up the seven meters, eight meters, nine meters, 10 meters, 10 meters range, Oop, dead man switch, I'm getting further away from my target, kaboom. The fail um, unsafe is whenever the cameras get destroyed, say just taking return fire camera destroyed camera destroyed camera destroyed now you no longer have a proximity fuse and what will happen with this is it will arm the warhead so now it's basically a contact contact missile fail safe group equals true what this does is it means all three of these missiles all, or excuse me all three of these cameras will have to be destroyed in order for it to arm the warheads so let's say you got the fail safe on all three of these and just this one gets destroyed. You still got two cameras to use. So it's not going to arm the warheads. And the reason this works great is because as you know, a single bullet on a warhead, kaboom. When you launch this, these warheads do not arm. They're unarmed. So it can take all the damage at once and it doesn't blow up. That's where the proximity fusion comes in. The proximity fusion is the default command, which you can change it, but we're not getting into that. The default command is arm and then detonate. So kaboom, your missile. So let's go ahead and set all this up. So first things first, all the cameras gonna be named proximity, right? See? Uh, I didn't write it on there, but all the cameras gonna be named proximity. So or at least gotta have proximity in their name. Proximity, 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 proximity. Okay. Now next, all oh, this little text. So, under each one of these, under custom data, we'll put that in. Now we could change this. Three is a pretty good distance. Dead man switch, well, okay, well, let's do this. Set this to two, set this to five. Copy that, that's it, and go down the list. Okay. 
Okay, now our cameras are all set up, ready to go. Now to clean this up a little bit, we'll go ahead and turn it off the block. Atmospheric thrusters, we, we do not need those running. Now, you can leave them on, and the, the script will automatically turn them on when they when it launches. In this case, they're, they're atmospheric. They run off of battery power. They'll run off the power of your ship. So it doesn't matter. It will actually give you a little bit of additional boost if you like. But if you're using your um, hydrogen thrusters, where you're, especially in survival, where you've got to put ice in them, and you want to save on your, your ice for your hydrogen, you may not want to have these on. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn them off. And once again, they will automatically turn on when you launch your missile. And to clean this up, we'll disengage that. Gyroscope, disengage. Uh, merge blocks, we'll disengage. Small batteries, turn them off. Warheads. We don't need to do anything with warheads. Now last but not least is the programmable block. This is where we'll put our script in here. Now you can name this whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So what do I want to name this? Um, Let's do missile, tut, pb, missile tutorial pro programmable block. Custom data, nope, oh, excuse me, um, edit, Browse scripts. Easy LIDAR light, light homing script. Check code. Now, under here, the missile launch type, this is default, mode zero. So if you were to hit run, this is the launch mode that the missile will run under. Oh uh, yes, what do I mean by that? Homing modes, mode zero. And depending on what you are designing your missile for, you can set it to either one of these modes. But you don't have to because um, you can launch it in any mode you want, which I'll show you how to do that here momentarily. But So we'll just we'll not touch that. Uh, the block to disconnect missile to launch ship from the launching ship. The merge block, rotor, connector, merge block, and any locked. Uh, I think that would be locked uh, connector. We're going to leave it on zero because that's what we're going to use. But let's say you're going to build a large ship missile powered by hydrogen um, to launch up into space. And you'll have a merge block to connect it and a rotor to fill your hydrogen tanks. Then you can change this to three. Spin the missile by RPM after launch clearance. As soon as, as, soon as you launch it, it starts to spin. This will be good for cluster bombs. Vert Perform vertical launch takeoff procedure, true or false. Um, what this is, as soon as it launches, your counter thrust engages and would push it away from the ship. We're going to leave that as false. The reason being, the problem with this here is the merge block is on the other side. So as soon as you launch this, this is going to push it into the ship. Now you can change this and point this the other way and it will engage and launch it away from the ship. And But the problem is now your counter thrust is pointing up instead of towards gravity, which is not a big deal. As long as you are high enough from the ground, the missile will automatically rotate and uh, point the thruster down. It's, you know, guiding itself. Um, if you want to launch this on the, uh, stick this on the side of a ship, say on the wingtips, you could point this up or down, and then it'll psh, point in the way. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we don't need this. We're gonna leave this on false. Whether to exclude lock, uh, lock on to friendly targets, true or false. I am leaving this on false for now. The reason I'm leaving this on false is because I got these friendly ships out there to test this with. If you set this to false, it'll lock on to any grid there is, friendly or enemy. Have you seen Red October towards the end when the Russian submarine is trying to destroy the American submarine and he guides his own torpedo towards him by playing chicken and he killed himself? You arrogant fool, you killed us? Yeah, that's what that prevents. So for testing purposes, leave this on false. But when you're all said and done, set this to true. Uh, and that's really about all we need for this moment. So, 
Okay. Guess what? Your missile is now complete. So, we got your power in the form of batteries, right? We got your programmable block as a guidance system. We got the gyroscope to guide it. We got your thrusters for the power source, like, well, the thrust. And you got cameras and warheads. Cameras that are used to guide it. Like the camera will lock on and will, the missile will use the cameras to follow it. So you must have cameras. And you must set them in the proximity fuses, especially for the purpose of this tutorial. And then your warheads. And you're all said and done. Now, your launching ship. Now, the remote control or your cockpit. I already have one of those. So we need a camera named R underscore LIDAR and a sound block R underscore alert. So, when you put these on, put them as close together as possible. And that will prevent, uh, like, miscalculations and stuff when you're launching it. And then, a sound block. Okay. Camera, R, underscore, LiDAR. Sound block, R, underscore, alert. So, let's say we're in a cockpit. Uh, alert. Let's pick a sound. What do we want? Uh, Okay, that's, that'll work. Turn all this off. Now it's time to test our missile. Okay, two missiles, one on each wing. So PB, programmable block. Now, if you would just hit run, that runs with, or I'm sorry, if you hit run with default augment, it runs with default augment. That uh, mode where I showed you mode zero, mode zero, if you hit run with default augment and launches in this mode right here. Now, if you do not want it and you want to change the mode, this is where you can you can run it with the uh, default augment here, or with run. So run. How do you do that? Mode colon whichever launch mode you want. So missile one will launch in a mode zero, which is what I told you we we're going to do originally. That's, then missile two. Going to run it in mode six. Mode zero is your basic self guiding missile. Mode two is your uh, unguided. And what these will work is when you first launch them, wherever this is pointing, your camera group is pointing, that is where they're going to launch. Mode zero, it'll fire and it will follow your cameras. Wherever you point your ship, it will follow that until it, the missile locks on. When the, how do you know the missile locks on? You'll hear the alert playing. Boom, I'm good to go. Mode 6, your unguided mode, whichever direction you launch it from, wherever your ship this is pointing initially, when you hit that key, that is where this is going to go. So, let's do this here. Put a random, random brick wall up here. Let's 
Let's check off. Alright, mode one, right? There we go. Bam. Now that was a stationary target, but if it was moving, it would have followed and tracked it until we, until either A, it shot down, B, it impacts its target, or C, it runs out of power. Now the other one here, basic unguided, gun, unguided mode. And there you have it. And as you can see, this is, you know, one layer of light armor block. So imagine what you can do with this. And like I said, this script is extremely powerful. If you're chasing down, uh, I don't know, a cargo vessel, if you're, you can take out his engines. If you're chasing down an uh, enemy fighter and dogfighting, you can, boom, blow them out of the sky. Now that you've seen that, there's two more things I want to point out to you. And I actually, I got to find them here. I was a tad bit unprepared and I apologize for that. So give me one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Thank you for holding. Now, once again, I apologize. I, I forgot to include this in here. Under custom data configuration of the, the easy uh, LiDAR homing script guide, you'll see this. Use offset targeting. And under programmable block, custom data, use offset targeting equals true. You can put it in there, or under the edit, let's find it in here, whether you use offset targeting based on first light or hit. False, you set that to true. And what this does is, it where whatever the initial lock on point is, that is where your missile will target. So, let's go out here to this ship. Let's just say this is a large grid, large grid, uh, uh, I don't know, transport. And you want to slow him down, you want to take out some of the thrusters. If you point, at, say, your camera's here, which on a small grid you can't really tell it too well, they're small. On a large grid you can. That missile, wherever it locks onto, that is what's going to go into guide to. So if you lock onto this engine pod right here, it is going to attempt to hit this engine pod. Same thing with this engine pod. And it doesn't have to be engine, it could be the cockpit. You can be weapon systems. So let's say you're assaulting a big heavy, heavily defended base, and the base has a turret you want to take out. You will point at that turret, fire your missile and attempt to take out that turret, all from a standoff distance. What else is this good for? If you got, say, a base that has a hole in the center, you know, you see some of the stuff people build on the workshop, they're pretty damn good. But you may have a big ring, right? Well, initially, without setting that to true, the rate offset targeting to true, the script wants to target the very center of the grid. In this case, it would be here. If this was a loop, it would be here. But if it's a, there's nothing there, it's a loop. So this missile is going to miss every time. So set that to true. That way you're pretty much guaranteed a hit. Not only are you guaranteed a hit, once again, you can target specific blocks. You can target specific sectors on an enemy ship. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Thank you for tuning into this tutorial. On the next time around, I'm thinking I am going to do the turret guided. And which turret guided was mode three, which is basically um, like a TV guided missile. And there's one more I'm thinking of. Which one? I don't know which one I want to do. Um, which else do I want to cover on? Uh, this one right here, number two. Number two, what number two is, you can use a, tu a, a turret as your aiming point, and then the missile will self lock on. So instead of, get down here, instead of your cameras being your aiming point, 
If you have a turret on this, the turret is your aiming point. So you can be in a big lumbering battleship, big lumbering cargo vessel, whatever. And one of your defense turrets spots an enemy fighter over here. So we'll say that one. Instead of you having to turn your big ass ship that way, your turret can beep, launch a missile, not missile, bam. And the other one, which is mode 3, was a TV guided missile. It's literally a TV guided missile. It will follow your camera or your uh, turret until it impacts the target. Just like a, t like a modern day tow missile would. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night.